Hi, I'm Patrick John. Welcome to Patrick's Tech Show. I'm Patrick. Today we have a PlayStation 4 controller, model number CUHZCT2U. Some of the buttons don't work anymore. First, remove the four screws in the back with a tiny Phillips screwdriver. Next, use a tiny flathead to work the seams apart. I find that working from the top is the easiest. The, the controller halves will be tethered together by this ribbon cable. Take a picture of its position and then remove it. If you have model number CUHZCT1U, it's a little harder getting apart because the housing is between these triggers. And you will most likely pop a trigger off. Just push the trigger back through the housing. Put the spring back in its slot on the trigger. And then snap the trigger into place with the other half of the spring in its slot appropriately. Remove the battery, this screw, and the housing. If you have model number CUHZCT1U, the battery plate is held in place by these little tabs in the upper corners. Remove this ribbon cable. Mm. Pushing the thumb pads will help the circuit board pop out. These contacts go to all the buttons on the controller. There's a chance that if the controller was dropped or thrown, that it might not be lined up properly with these solder points. Just line the circuit board up and push it in the whole way. This ribbon cable comes from the touchpad. Put that back in and everything button related will be back in correctly. I don't know about you, but now that the hard parts are over, I would like a victory snack. And today's victory snack is... Perrydale Farms Chocolate Milk. It's my personal favorite chocolate milk. And that was Peridot Farms chocolate milk made in York, Pennsylvania. Put the battery housing back on. Reinsert the battery and its cable. Put the ribbon cable coming from the back half of the housing into its slot. Line up this plastic sleeve with this gray slot. If you have model number CUHZCT1U, put the housing over those triggers, and then you gotta bend those prongs to fit the cover over them. A little bit of wiggle, and boom, boom. Screw the four screws back in. Okay, time to test this puppy out and see if it barks.
It is working. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And now if you want, you can watch me put my Circus Atari skills to the test with a real online opponent. I guess everyone's busy right now.